new gene therapy treatment is being tested at the University of Pennsylvania to treat a rare kind of muscular dystrophy. It's progressive and strikes mainly boys. Health reporter Stephanie Stoll has more on the research and one Philadelphia patient with a very special interest. You see serial sections. Inside the Penn lab that's working on a breakthrough treatment for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, DMD, 18-year-old Yuva Gambier is an unofficial patient ambassador. You really get an understanding of like what's going on. Yuva has DMD, which is caused by a gene mutation that stops production of a muscle building protein. Sometimes it's hard because I remember what it was like to be able to walk and like keep up with other kids physically. While it does like create um, a lot of challenges, I feel like I'm good at like adapting. The Penn researchers are developing a first of its kind gene therapy that replaces the missing protein without triggering a destructive immune response. Response. It's a fulfillment of a lifelong dream. For Dr. Hansel Stedman, the lead researcher, it's personal. Two of his brothers died from DMD. We're not going to stop until we get closer to something that resembles a cure. Co-author of the research, Leon Morales, a PhD student at Penn, has a milder form of the disease. It's such a proud moment for me and my family. The gene therapy so far has been tested in animals. Now they're hoping for approval from the FDA for the next step in patients. So our vision for this is that you have an early diagnosis. In other words, before the kids are even symptomatic. And then with a single injection of something like this, that they never ever develop a single symptom of the disease. The research is too late for Yuva, but he's grateful it could someday help others. It's really like showed me like the effort like scientists um, are putting into like making technologies and like drugs that can really be of benefit. Stephanie Stahl, CBS3 Eyewitness News.